Hello everyone, welcome back to Brickerton. As you can see there, if you don't remember, because it has been 11 months since the last video. So here's to another 11 months. Way, no, I'm joking. Right, where, I don't know where we last picked off, left off in another video or anything. So I'm just going to show you pretty much everything. Got line sign, side fencing right down to the tunnel mouth now and uh, got the house you know a little the small hole in here which comes right round up here and we've got fields with cows in here just need to add a few more in about in around here um, we've also got a field of grass but it looks like it's been mowed for hay so we're going to have a little, little baler in there um, on the back of a tractor baling it I added some sheep and some little lambs down here there's like four four lambs I think or five lambs to about 30 ewes there so but it does look really good I, uh, I really kind of Made it look quite decent, to be honest with you. Well, I thought I had. So, it, yeah, it looks quite... Quite nice from all angles. There's just that rock over yonder that needs to be painted in, well, rock colours. And there's also a couple of rock faces there as well that just need to be... I think it's the Stanya Mogul. I'm not sure. With uh, a rake of well, there's three coaches there. So this bit here is going to be probably next time I do a video, it's going to be all different because I'll show you the extension in a minute. But here, this whole station is being remodelled. As you can see, we've got platform cardboard Metcalf platforms. Metcalf buildings well they're no good in here because they fade with the sun so we've got to do something a little bit different here for this station and it's going to be exactly the same as the one well same style as the one on the extension so we're going to scratch build a new bridge and we're going to have a platform here as well as like the um, Express what did he say? I don't know. He, Dad mentioned something, some sort of express. So, which, which this will bring this station out a little bit more, really. Which, you know, is all good fun. Move over to here to a slightly crammed area, which is the extension. And we're sort of in a bit of a mess here because all the Christmas light boxes are underneath the layout until until they go back up the loft and there's also cables for lights dangling and you god knows what everything's dangling and there's wires everywhere and boxes everywhere but we're on the extension what more could you want we'll have a look here now so I think dad has scratch built this platform with a bit of Flemish Bond and Victoria Pave, Victoria Paving, slab, Victorian Paving Slabs, which does look really good. And oh, what's that? Who may ask? Well, he's put some point rodding in as well, which he loves his signalling and his points. So he's ripped the ballast up and he's put in point rodding here. And we also flip over the back. He's put some there, which all goes back to his converted. He converted this. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, I don't know. Converted his crimson and cream British Rail bloody signal box, which has all the cranks on, or whatever they're called. Um, more things, and all the point rodding goes into it. So that's rather cool. Dad loves that stuff, and we've also got ground signal here. I see, I know the name of that one. 
the ground signal on the floor. And then his plans are for here is for two lines to go up under like a bloody rust stone bridge type bump back bridge thing and then up into a little lift out section there and then into a colliery area up there so that's all all well and good I don't know if you've seen this he's put all this in he's put this little platform outside the the merchant timber yard coal area in fact I think it is coal because if I flip the screen up here, I think there's coal mound in there, which just adds to the detail. So, coming down here a little bit more, I'm not going to go much further, oh, I could go a bit further, the heat is in the way, just about to knock the heater over. There you go, oh, the heat has gone for a ball of shit. Get up there. No, oh dear, we're a mess. Right, we're back. I don't know if you've seen this, this is the um, little coal wharf area. Um, Dad's put in post and rail fence. So, and, and it's broke down, so a cow is drinking out of the canal. Nice little willow tree, so that looks quite a nice scene now. We've just got to load that up with coal. Have some coal in the yard. Um, that side of the bridge has gone out for a bit of adjusting. There's also all line side fencing down here. My bridge, that's scratch built. See, more boxes, bloody hell. Where do we leave off? Here. I'm, I'm rubbish at these video things, hence why I don't do them all that often. But that looks good now, we've got some bloody walkers in the field there, a little path, like a public public footpath, let's just bring her in a bit, I think that looks dead good, so they're looking over a quarry, what's going to be a quarry, or just a hole, I don't know, and uh, a gateway in that, so that looks all cool, just got to do that, and a lot of scenery down here, make it look good. Oh, and there's the start of of me uh, unused rail, unused track. Oh, and I come round here. This bit, I'll tell you what's getting getting redone now. This bit, that bit, and then there's a whole town scene to still come yet, which is in the shed. It's pretty much built though that. Dad, Dad's just been a bit. He got, he's built it, and he's got a bit carried away with this. Well, not carried away, but you know, it's just something to do, isn't it? Something to do. So we're going to reuse a bit of this from the scratch building. Uh, scratch building, one of them. The bridge, which that could make a good video. Really, but I don't know what makes a good video. <laughs> couple of new models, we've got the, a class 40, we've actually had quite a few new ones but I'm not going to show them you all, we've got class 40, very nice model, um, it's Batman obviously, um, very well detailed, it's got head codes on it, so we have, like you put your own head codes on, so I'm going to get it out of the box and show you now. So they're all actually lit head codes. So you have to with within the, the kit. So they're obviously there you're running lights anyway. Like your your main lights. And then these here, one, two, and then there's put two flaps over that one and that one. There your head codes. So you got a light on there, light in there, light under there and a light under there. And that one is for express freight. And as you can see, we could done the same on this end too. Lovely detailing on the model. This thing won't focus, I don't think. But yeah, it's lovely detailing. Um, you know, just a 
let's just your average bloody class 40 really so we've got one of them and we've also got a Lima class 40 moving on to another model we've got a class 121 single car DMU or otherwise known as a bubble car I think um, now this is I've left the price on this one <laughs> this is oh crap this could go wrong a very highly detailed model I know I said the other one was but this is definitely more detailed you got all the pipe work in all like the different colours and that and uh, yeah dad reckons it was a lovely model which I think it is as well but that one was also a backman and um, yeah it was we got it from Dagfield which is tra well Trident Trains which is at Dagfield if you know where that is um, next we've got a 3F don't suppose you've probably seen that actually but yeah we've got 3F um, nice model oh and then last last one I'm going to show you is this which is a Hall class so it's um, obviously Hall class used to be on GWR great, great, yeah Great Rest Western Railway uh, but this one has been well I bought it as you know in the BR livery so that's a a nice one so if you didn't know we've got all I think you knew we've got all the the drawers now mod of um mod, what they got hobby zone here hobby zone and uh, we've got another one in the making which is a humbrol I don't know humbrol paint stand so because obviously they're the only paints we really use I mean we use a couple a few rail match but other than that Umbral is the one we go for so oh there's another little section that's uh, going to be getting modified ever so slightly this bit here so because it's a, on a curve we put a straight point on because we had a bit of trouble before with trains derailing on a curved point but we think it was from the the point was knackered I think so it's kicking them off because they're going from a curve onto a straight back onto a curve so it's kicking them off so we bought a, uh, a curved a curved point and that is going to go right there like that hopefully all being well and then obviously we've got post and rail uh, wire and post fencing to go all around the layout so I think that's about it really I'm sorry if it's been a bit boring but I, I need to you know get back into the, the full swing on the videos um, I'd show you a bit of running but I've got to clean the layout off to do that so that we'll leave that for another video eh thanks for watching I'm sorry if I bored you to tears even if you've made it this long into the video but I probably have bored you to tears so I'm sorry about that um, if you want to come back for another video, feel free. Thanks for watching. See ya.